Hey guys, welcome to the channel. Today I'm going to be giving you a flip through and a review of the Layers of Learning Language Arts Writers Workshop. This was the writing curriculum that we adopted in January of the school year. I didn't even start out with it, but I was like, we are not really doing any writing. We went through a couple of literature studies and I was like, okay, we need some writing curriculum. My oldest daughter was like itching, <laughs> chomping at the bit to keep writing. And I didn't want to slow them down, but I also have a reluctant writer. And so this was a challenge for me to find something that I thought would work for all of us because I like to do writing as a family subject, writing, science, history, art, family subjects in our house. So I was trying to find something that will work for all of us. Just a brief overview and then I'm going to give you guys a flip through and then I'll tell you how we used it, what we liked and all the things. My name is Morgan here at the Life of Tillman's. If this is your first time, I'm glad that you're here. Okay, this curriculum is a family style creative writing curriculum, period. And when I say family style, y'all, they want the parents in on writing as well. Like it's a whole movement. Everybody is sitting down and using this curriculum and writing every day. I think it's really cool. My girls and I had a pretty good time doing some of the exercises within this curriculum. And it really just made me think even more. Like I was like, man, I could be a writer. <laughs> like it made me feel really good about what we were doing. Okay, you're probably wondering age level. It said that the curriculum is from age six all the way up to 18 and beyond. That would include us adults who are teaching our children. Cost wise, you can get the PDF, which is what I did. You can get the PDF for $44.99 or you can have the printed version for $69.99. Now, that is if you choose to get all of the units, which leads me to my next point. There are nine units within this curriculum. So you will get this. If you order the entire thing, you will get this, which is your nine units. You will also get the writer's workshop guidebook. And this is like your intro to know exactly what you're doing with the curriculum. And you will also get the printable pack. This is one. There is a printable pack for every unit. I printed off recently the poetry one. We did the jump start and the second one, which is like sentences or something. So this is your printable pack that you would get. They all come in a zip drive if you do the PDF and you just print them off as you need it. I'm gonna show you guys a flip through of all of this in just a second. On top of that, there are supplements that you can add in. One of them is word work, which gives you spelling and vocabulary to go along with the curriculum. There is also an additional unit that is called research. Now this is for your teens and up, and this basically teaches your child how to write a great research paper. As I said, they suggest that it's for teens and up, but that is an additional thing that you would buy if you want your child to do the research. In all, this curriculum is gonna cover your grammar, your spelling, your mechanics, writing genres, and it teaches the writing process. All right, I think that's it for logistics. I'm gonna flip the camera around and let you guys see into this curriculum. Okay guys, let's do a flip through of the Layers of Learning Language Arts Writers Workshop. Now this is the guide on how to create a writer's workshop. This is very detailed. And when I mean detailed, it means it talks about creating the perfect, I say perfect, but creating the environment for your child to freely write like a writer's corner and having the right amount, you know, having pencils and markers and paper and a journal. It talks about all of those different things. Within this, in the beginning, it says all the titles in the Writer's Workshop series are the Writer's Workshop Jumpstart, Sentence, Paragraphs and Narration, Description of Instruction, Fanciful Stories, uh, Poetry, True Stories, Reports and Essays, Letters and Persuasive Writing. Your supplements are going to be your word work and research paper. The guide for the parent or teacher is this book that I am showing you right now. And this really helps you to envision how you're gonna set up this writer's workshop for your child to really inspire them to write. That is the entire goal, that your child is inspired by what they see around them and the things that are set up for them. So this talks about what's in the guide and this is how to create a writer's workshop. And as I said, y'all, it goes into detail as to, you know, the pencils and all the things that you need. How to create your writer's workshop. You have different exercises. You have mini lessons, project ideas bank, a printable bank, and then it talks about your supplements. That is inside of each unit. It also talks about the word works, which is your vocabulary and spelling and the research paper for your teens and up. The planner, Layers of Learning Planner is attended for mentors who are using the Layers of Learning program. I did not set up a planner, y'all. I'm just letting y'all know that. A quick glance at the day. 
you start, they start with word work. So in this, and it's written by two sisters. I need to go back and share that with you guys. Um, but I will, it's written by Michelle and Karen, and they are two sisters who came up with this curriculum. It talks about how they go through their day and you read this and it really just helps you to see what it is that they did and how to make that fit for your family. Other things is a writing center. This is where it goes into detail about the things that you need, variety of papers, booklets, writing utensils, uh, art tools, so they can really get into it. You also have your writer's notebook. My girls did set up their writer's notebook, which was awesome. They really enjoyed doing that and knowing exactly where things were going when they would do the mini lessons. Okay guys, here are the girls' writer's workshop binder. Sorry about the glare. But they did an exercise where they had to create the front of their binder already. And then we got to set everything up. And so one of my daughters has her first, fourth grade journal in hers. Then we have a journal section and they did different activities in there. There's also a writing section and that's where if they want to take something through the writing process, they can. Then they have the word work section, which we made that, but we really didn't use it unless they came across some words that they really didn't know or something like that. Then they would put them in here. We talked about that, but we actually never used it. The writing helps section. And they had different exercises to do writing helps. And then they had the ideas section of their notebooks. So there's a journal section, a writing section. We did not do a word work section because they do vocabulary and spelling for a different curriculum. The writers writing helps section and then the ideas section. This is word work family style where you're going over vocabulary and it talks about how you can do that family style. There are written activities, manipulative activities, physical and verbal activities. You're gonna get all of that within this curriculum. It also talks about the mini lessons to teach in small doses. That is the purpose of the mini lessons. It's like a warm up. It's almost like a five minute math facts warm up, but for writing. Then you go into writing within genres and what that means and how your child can best use that. Then it talks about the writing process. You're gonna have a writing process in every section of this. And this is what your child, when they choose what they want to write about, how they're gonna take it through the writing process. So pre-writing, drafting, revising, editing, and publishing. It goes through and talks about each one of those and what those sections mean. And then how to evaluate the writing. If you're grading your child's writing, there is a six traits of writing rubric that is also here. There are sentence fluency, voice, voice is your own personal touch. Writing should sound like you. So this encourages your child to really write how they feel and what they want to write about and how they want to write it and not do it based off of what mom and dad wants or what big sister or little sister is doing. It focuses on what your child wants to do and how to do it. There are five levels of writing, modeled writing, shared writing, interactive writing, guided writing, and then you also have independent writing. It all depends on where your child is. It says with any writing assignment, there are also five levels of writing that, can you, that you can use to accommodate different levels of students. This gives you suggestions as how you can make the curriculum better suited for your 17 year old and your six year old and your 12 year old. Okay, so this section I love because this says some roadblocks to steer clear of. These are things that you don't want to do when it comes to writing. And this is really helpful because you don't want to, as this one talks about, over planning or over scheduling because this is like free form writing. They are to enjoy the process. If you pile on too many things, they're not gonna get it done and then they're not gonna like it. So over the top expectations, focusing on the product over the process. You want your child to learn the process. So we're not nitpicking at um, all the things like spelling and vocabulary and punctuation. We are going to address those things, but we're not going to harp on those things. It says forgetting that writing is developmental and skill-based, not fact-based. A crucial key to having a successful family style writer's workshop is recognizing that not everyone will be at the same skill level, even if they've heard the same many lessons. Diversifying, allowing your children to be on their level, but still doing it as a family. A final note, and then it says time to get writing. I did the PDF of this and I just had it spiral bound at um, FedEx, which made it easy. So there's that. Okay, then you have your writer's workshop. This is the family style writing. This is the actual curriculum that you're gonna get into. It has what's in the guide, 
different things like talks about the uh, word work, the research paper, how to use the guide, talks about scheduling, sidebars, the printable packs. I'll show you that in just a minute and additional resources. So we go into all of the different sections. There are nine writing sections and then you have mini lesson index in the back. So here's where it happens. All of your mini lessons are on the side. All of your exercises are within the middle. This is the writer's workshop jumpstart. Everyone is to start here. So if you use this year after year, which you can, because you can go through and pick different things, I put a check mark in the boxes of the lessons that we completed. And so when we go back to it, we won't do those same lessons. We'll pick something else. But here it talks about the mini lesson and what that means. Then step two, you go into the writing. This is where you get your exercises. So in the mini lessons, you're just gonna go and pick a mini lesson. This is anywhere within the jumpstart. So as you can see, the jumpstart has several mini lessons on the outside, several of them. We're still in the jumpstart. So we're talking at least six mini lessons per page here, or three per page. We're going into, we're still in the jumpstart section, guys all of this and there are tons of mini lessons for your child to work on this is it okay so you're gonna pick you can flip through those you can pick whatever you want this one is design a custom cover for your writer's notebook we did that so that the girls could enjoy doing that and getting started um, there's also pronouns we worked on that this one is sketching a picture is a good pre-writing activity to generate ideas allow your child to sketch kind of get their mind going. As you can see, I put a B here for Brenna and an M for Maggie. They didn't always do the same things. Here's things I love. The mini lessons are intended to be 10 minutes or less. Some of them are five minutes. Like there's one where it just says, just write. This one, it says, if you write every day, you'll get better at writing every day. The activities in the writer's workshop are called exercises because like exercise builds endurance and muscle, daily writing builds writing stamina and skills. Use your writing time well. Wasted time creates waste, but writing creates writing. So set a timer for one minute. And then the next day you come back and you just work your way up to five minutes of quick writing. Uninterrupted, your child is going to write. This was really awesome. We did this several days. So then you get into your exercises. You can choose the different exercises and how you want your child to do it, which one you want your child to do. You can give them options and they can pick. It's completely up to you as to how you wanna do it. As you can see, Maggie was working hard in here. Brenna had moved on to something else by this time. Oh, she was in the writing process. Okay, let's talk about that. So your child may get to a point where they say, okay, I'm ready to take my topic. There's lots of brainstorming ideas in here. I'm ready to take my frogs go fishing topic to the writing, through the writing process. So you will go here, the writing process. Pre-writing, your child will do pre-writing. Now, you can either have them do pre-writing off of what this says, or they can do pre-writing off of the topic that they're choosing. I did have my girls do pre-writing and drafting on these specific topics just to get them accustomed to doing it. So they did that. They did not take the topics all the way through the writing process. Brenna, once she completed these, she was ready to take her own topic through the writing process. So we made sure that she had done pre-writing for it, drafting, then it goes into revising. You go into your editing and your publishing. That is the entire process for writing and taking it through the writing process. This is an exercise, a tour of the writing process. So it just gives you more details as to how someone took something through the writing process. This is a specific example about Tyler and what he did. So that's what you're going through. And the title of his was Fish Boy, and this is the end result of Fish Boy, the end, okay? Analyzing the writing, there's six traits to writing, and some of these things will send you, some of the exercises will send you to the packages that I'm gonna show you here in just a moment. Then you have more on your writing process. Now we're still in the jumpstart portion of it as well. So all of these things, okay? Jumpstart idea bank, and this is to kind of give your child more ideas. I love it that you get to choose, and it is set up the same way for each one of the sections. You're going to have your mini lessons here, you have your exercises, and then they have an opportunity to take something through the writing project here. Writing project, and they'll just go through and follow all of that. Okay, now let's talk about the printable pack. For each one of the nine units, there is a printable pack. And in this printable pack, you'll find different things. These things are often referenced within the curriculum here. So let's see if I can find one really quick on poetry. 
and give you guys an idea. It says you will need the single die and the roll the poem printable from the printable pack. So let's find roll the poem. Okay, here is the roll the poem. What you're gonna do is it says you will need a single die and the roll the poem printable from the printable pack for this exercise. Here is the roll the poem printable, which is inside of the poetry printable pack. So oftentimes some of the exercises will refer you to these specific worksheets within the printable pack. Every unit has a printable. So this is nice. You can make copies of it. It's family style. So you do have the right to make copies of it for your child. And you just go through and whenever it references a specific title for this, then you go through and you find it for your child or children and they will complete that exercise using whatever sheet is here for them or whatever sheet it referenced for them to use. And that's how the printable pack is used within the exercises for each unit. Okay, now that you've seen inside the curriculum, y'all don't mind this. I, I said that earlier, but my printer was on a different level that day. <laughs> but now that you've seen into the curriculum, I just wanna share with you guys some of the things that we really loved about it. The first thing is if you have a reluctant writer, this curriculum is really going to get them writing. I kid you not. Now, some people get on here and say that, and it's like, this didn't work for my child, but this worked for my child. Now, it may not work for everyone, but my reluctant writer was happy to do those mini lessons. She enjoyed getting in there and taking that five minutes, whether it was just writing for five minutes, doing the specifics on a mini lesson. She's like, are we ready? Like, it's time to start our mini lesson. That was something that she really enjoyed doing. Also, I love that you can pick and choose. Like they call this curriculum a pick and choose curriculum. You get to pick and choose what you want your child to work on. You can have all of your children working on something different when it comes to the mini lesson and the exercises. You can tailor it to their age and grade level. So you can add in extra dimensions is what I like to call it to it to make it more challenging or less challenging if you wanna add in your six-year-old. I did not try adding in my six-year-old. We are still learning how to read and write and all the things so I didn't add her into the curriculum but she could definitely have done uh, some of those things verbally with me and not had to write anything down but the fact that you get to pick and choose that's a win for me and it really attracted my reluctant writer I do love that it's whole family I mean because to me that's the idea of family subjects and if you have more than one child family subjects really save you time everybody's on the same page everyone's working at the same time on specific things it's just really helpful to get everybody together and focus on the same thing at the same time not to mention y'all I mean, when i say it, it made me feel like i could write i mean i'm pretty sure i can but to sit down with my girls and discuss it and talk about what i chose to talk about in the mini lesson versus what they did and give an exercise and we all discuss how we felt about the exercise and what we were able to do some of the exercises are like crafts where you have to like put something together maybe not a craft but but a craft like you have to put together different word parts and little flip books here and there another great thing is that although there are nine units the only suggestion that they have is that the first unit which is the jumpstart unit that you do that one first otherwise you can pick whatever units you want you don't have to go in that specific order so if your child is like mine and they're interested in poetry that is going to be the first unit that she is going to do for the upcoming school year another thing that i really like about it is that they get to choose what they want to take through the writing process they are not being forced to write about one specific thing. For my reluctant writer, that is the key to it all. She gets to choose what she wants to write about. I'm not giving her a topic and saying, hey, I want you to write about this, this, and this, and it's something that doesn't speak to her. There are also tons of opportunities within this curriculum for your child to do brainstorming. So they are gonna have an entire list of things that they can write about, which makes it even more fun and come to life and, and makes them really feel like they have control because they get to pick what they're writing about. And that's a big part of the inspiration in writing. If you tell me to sit down and write about World War II, I'm probably gonna have a lot less to write about than if you ask me to write about like a day of being a homeschool mom. <laughs> I'm just saying interest in the writing helps the child be able to write. So you're probably wondering like, okay, you said you were gonna use this and you haven't finished. Here's what I'm going to do. And I explained this in my curriculum video. I will put the link down in the description and put it at the end of this video. But this curriculum is now going to only be for my rising fifth grader. My oldest daughter 
is in a different place with her writing. She did enjoy this, but she just wanted more as we were going through it because she is loving writing. She enjoys it and it works out great for her. But this is going to be for my rising fifth grader and I'm pretty sure that I'm going to sit down and partake in doing these exercises with her because that's what made it fun and family style. If you guys have any more questions, put them down in the comments and check out these other videos on reviews. See y'all later.